So hi, my name is Otito Dosumo. I'm the Digital and Deep Technology Manager at BGI. Um, it is my responsibility to support early stage and seed stage startups by helping them to find the investments they need and helping them to commercialize their, um, their products and their services. So I think it, it, the most obvious thing for startups to do when they're looking for VC investors is to look for VC investors that are um, financing projects within their industry. Um, and this is really important because you want smart money. You don't want to collect money from just anybody. Um, you want to get people who can provide you with investments, but also will provide you with knowledge of the industry because they've been investing in that specific vertical for a long time. Um, also, um, while looking at the VC investors, it's also important to know who in the fund has been leading investments within your industry. Um, typically, in typical investment funds, you have people who specialize in a variety of um, investment deals. So you want to find that individual within that fund who has experience um, investing in your um, kind of venture. And you can find that out by looking at the person's Twitter feed, um, their LinkedIn profile. Uh, many of the investors write a lot about, um, about write a lot on different platforms such as Medium, um, on Twitter, and that could give you some insights on what you should look for and who you, sh and who you should look for when looking for your first fund. So there are a variety of platforms you could use. Uh, one, of the, and one of the quickest ways to do that is obviously to do a Google search <laughs> for investors who, who invest in your industry. But there are also a, a lot of great databases that you could leverage on to get information. So for example, um, you could use databases such as DealRoom, um, Crunchbase, PitchBook, AngelList. Um, those are databases that you can have access to, obviously for a fee to get access to information about the kind of VC investors that invest in your industry. Um, also, another way you could do that is you could look at your competitors and you could look at um, startups that are similar to yours and see who has invested in them. And then you could sort of use that as a reference to know what kind of who, who, what, who, which VC investor might be relevant for you. That also varies as well. So it varies on um, the country you're in. It, focus, it varies also on the industry that you're in. And take for example, in Portugal, it, it also varies on the type of fund that you're looking for. So in Portugal, for example, if you're looking for um, pre-seed financing, that would take you about 10 months. If you're looking for seed financing, that would take you about 20 months. If you're looking for series A and series B and other round, um, funding rounds, that would take you way longer than that. Um, so um, there's always an exception to the case, but it's very in interesting for you to know what market you're in, what industry you're in, and you could, there's, this information is out there, but it usually takes about six to 10 months before you to raise your first um, funding. Okay, so um, as, a, as a startup, you usually would have something like a pitch deck, or you'd be given an opportunity to pitch to investors. But um, I think one of the key things that a lot of venture capital investors look at, obviously, is your team. And that is for a particular reason, because if you're a very early stage startup, there isn't so much information for the VC investors to go on rather than the credibility of the team. So if you have good subject matter expertise on, a, on your venture, um, you're more likely to get um, better attention or a better audience with venture capital investors. So having a great team, um, able to demonstrate on your pitch deck that you know what you know about your venture, you know about your industry. Um, if, you're able to, if you have previous experience in that particular venture, that also goes a long way to helping VCs um, decide on if they're going to invest in you. But obviously they look at other things like the product, the market, especially if you're solving a key problem. If you're able to demonstrate that your your solution is a painkiller, um, you 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 most likely will get a better audience with venture capital investors. You have to keep on grinding. You know, um, raising funds is a continuous thing; it's a time-consuming thing. Um, typically, you would have pitched to over 50 to um, 60, or sometimes 100 investors um, before you actually raise your first round, depending on what 
type of round you are you're, you're trying to raise um, but um, uh, you have to keep on grinding if you're passionate about what you're doing if you're passionate about wanting to solve a problem um, you just have to keep on that grind and keep on searching and uh, keep on working hard keep on validating your business model eventually you'll get the funding that you need um, raising a fund is not a one day job it's not a um, two days job it's not a one week thing or a one month thing you know obviously there are those people who are lucky but you have to take it as a full-time thing and you have to be prepared for the long, um, long-term game. Always be ready to pivot if you have to pivot. Um, always be willing to learn, um, be humble, um, always build your credibility um, because at the end of the day, the startup game is also a relationship game. Cut. <laughs>